hello and welcome back in this lecture we will be learning about how to transfer billing and subscription from uh, one account to another person let's say you may have a company uh, has acquired or you may have completed a certain project and that has to be handed over to your client after completely building up so similarly there could be a different situation just uh, you wanted to transfer some kind of billing uh, just for the internal uh, purpose to one other account from one business unit to another business unit in that situation you might have to uh, look into the uh, subscription transfer along with the billing transfer. So this is one other question which may come definitely on AZ500 series exam. So let's have a look on um, how to do that. Uh, let's assume that, you know, oh, I'm going to demonstrate that anyway uh, in the next, uh, once I completed the slides, but you know, post to the uh, transfer, uh, there are in you know, a few conditions that needs to be you know, understand. So let's understand more about uh, subscription specific. So once you uh, subscription transfer from one account to another uh, account, then you need to uh, revalidate uh, the specific uh, specific to the key vaults. If you are using any anything related to the key vault for securing your data, and then in that case, you have to again, uh, change the tenant ID after that you have to revalid uh, the key wallet specific and also you have to re-enable any of the uh, managed identities that you are using also you must have to re-register any of the Azure stack if you have and all the resources will be online and it, there will not be any impact while uh, this uh, account transfer happens so let's jump into the demonstration and how we can do that I have opened two accounts the first one is uh, paddy at len in my lab dot com uh, this is the uh, official account which I have been trying to demonstrate all the lab within this account and also there is another account um, that also I'm going to show you uh, before that uh, you can see here this is ending with 26 is the subscription IT and it's a pay as you go model and you can check out any of the billing and other information now this is another account which is a free account uh, that means I personal account with my personal account I did created here one other subscription now it's time for me to transfer this personal account which is ending with gmail.com uh, this subscription I wanted to transfer along with the billing to other account which I just shown you which is paddy at len in my lab.com subscription so uh, to do that, uh, you need to you know focus on the subscription number. Uh, make sure that you, you can remember that it is ending with a 2C. And um, uh, you can see here my ID. And also, I can go back to my subscriptions. And you see here, uh, this is my subscription. And uh, if I want to you know, do the transfer, I can uh, actually do it from the transfer building owner so from here I can just uh, click on that and that would actually gives me an email ID this is where I need to enter the email ID so that what would happen is um, it would uh, send you an email also along with my Azure uh, subscription AD tenant also I'm completely moving my tenants from here to new um, subscription uh, or the subscription where I'm sending so in this case you need to you know, read these points you have to uh, when you're trying to move these uh, recipient as your tenant if a recipient is a different tenant than your subscription tenant all existing role based access uh, control permissions to as your resources in this uh, subscription will be removed that means if you configure any of the permissions that all will be taken out um, from the source uh, of this tenant uh, in this case uh, this is the tenant subscription ID so from here everything will be uh, removed and you need to reconfigure on the target uh, as your tenant so that's uh, what it mean to say so if you're sure click on yes and that would actually proceed further click on yes that would uh, start initiate the process of the transferring so this will take uh, another um, a minute to get an email so let me open my emails and show you know what kind of email i got it so this is the email uh, which i got it uh, in this it's very clearly saying that uh, i need to accept the 
a transfer if I'm okay so the billing would happen so I need to just right click and take the link or copy paste or maybe you can activate so in this case um, it is very clearly showing that this is the subscription which is ending with the 2c and that's a subscription with my personal account I created so that is a pay-as-you-go model again it's going to transfer as a pay-as-you-go model only so here you need to remember few points like if you're trying to transfer your Amazon subscription where you get normally credit of two hundred dollars or hundred dollars um, that uh, also can be possible to transfer but the only condition is in the target also you need to have that uh, similar kind of MSGN subscription so that you get that credits otherwise you don't get that credits so you have to convert into the pay as you go model um, so that it will start the billing uh, building so I need to simply accept the uh, terms and conditions uh, and then you see here the this is what we are trying to do 2c and the 2c uh, which, which started with uh, F7 accept that so now in the background a task will start initiated so make sure that when you're trying to transfer uh, the regions and other things uh, should definitely match otherwise you need to raise a case with Microsoft um, in order to achieve that so uh, in this case this would take uh, another 15 minutes to 20 minutes time at least to complete the complete a uh, background process so in the meantime it would uh, ask you for the payment so I need to give here my uh, credit card details because as I said it's a pay-as-you-go model and I have accepted my uh, credit card details and simply accepted the terms and conditions then the actual transfer was initiated from here If you see here uh, it's just uh, opening another pages where it's gonna show you a detail in progress status so I'm gonna pause this for a minute um, in, in the interest of time saving and you see here I just refreshed and the transfer is successfully completed now as a next step I can check uh, my subscription so in this case it's the Padiat Len uh, in my lab.com and if I just click on my subscriptions um, I would definitely get it here so let me go back to subscriptions and it is currently filtered with one of two so let me take out the uh, filter option so you get this uh, 2c uh, which is a subscription in this case um, which is highlighted here 2c and uh, it is transferred successfully now if I go to my personal account to see and if I just uh, click a refresh of the page to reload uh, the subscription will disappear so there's no resources no subscription now or within this account everything got transferred to the new subscription um, management ID there's a page at uh, learninmylab.com login ID now I should be able to create an uh, any of the uh, resources uh, by using that subscription now if I want to show you from the legacy portal just go to that URL uh, and within that URL it's gonna show you the legacy subscription so you see here I have here two uh, pay as you go models and it says that hey you must have to use the latest as your portal for uh, managing these but in any case if you want to see the legacy one just go to account.su.com forward slash subscriptions and also I get an email uh, saying that we have transferred billing ownership of an Azure subscription successfully so that's the uh, conclusion if you get a uh, similar kind of you know, steps to be performed within the exam, you can follow these steps to complete. I hope this is useful for you. Thank you for watching this.